Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are going to make salt and vinegar zucchini chips. Grab a plate, cause it's the all-free whole food plant-based cooking show. Welcome back to the show, everybody. We've got another great recipe for you today. We are making salt and vinegar zucchini chips. And if you've watched my show before, you know that I have a terrible addiction to corn chips. I just love them. But most corn chips are cooked in oil. And there's not a whole lot of ways around that unless you make your own. You can always make your little uh, corn tortillas and bake them. Um, but this is another alternative and it's even way healthier than that. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. They're super satisfying, super simple, very minimal ingredients. So I've already mandolined three zucchini, um, and you want them to be not small, but maybe like a medium size zucchini. You don't want them to be too big because uh, the insides start to get kind of seedy, and that part will stick to your dehydrator tray and they'll just break apart. So you want them to be kind of a good medium size. And I mandolin them on the thickest setting of my little mandolin. You could probably make them a little bit thicker than this, and they'd be even stronger for like dipping dip or whatever. But I like them this, this thickness. All right, so that was three zucchinis already mandolined. And what I have here, I've got three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and this is gonna make our coating that's kind of salt and vinegary flavored. Uh, three teaspoons or tablespoons of white wine vinegar and two tablespoons of Bragg's liquid aminos. But if you don't have liquid aminos, you could use uh, tamari sauce or soy sauce. And if you have a gluten intolerance or soy, what is it, soy intolerance, um, you could also use coconut aminos. That's a good option. Okay, so you're just gonna stir it up lightly. Oh, and I forgot pepper. That's my favorite ingredient in here. So salt and vinegar chips with a little pepper. It gives it a little bit of a, a spicy bite, which I really like. Just kind of generally mix that up. Okay, and I've got my dehydrator trays all out here. I've got two dehydrator trays. That should be enough. You might need one more dehydrator tray. And we are just gonna toss, whoops, we're gonna toss all of these in there. And it looks like a lot. But as you see when they cook, there's quite a bit of shrinkage. So these come out, you know, you start out with something about that size and it comes down to probably about that size. So quite a bit of shrinkage. They're not a huge chip. Okay, so now you got them in your bowl. You can use your, uh, your spoon, but I like to just use my hands. It's much easier because then you can kind of move the zucchini around and you just keep mixing this around until you feel like they're all really well coated. And as you mix them, some of that liquid of the zucchini is gonna come out and it's gonna help get some more of that coating on there. So just keep kind of massaging and moving them around. It's kind of a fun one to do with, you know, if you've got little ones they would love to do this part. They get all messy and have to handle your food. <laughs> okay, that looks oops. that looks pretty good. And don't worry if they if some of them break, that's okay. Because you know, in a bag of chips, you never get a whole bag full of full chips. Some are broken. All right, so now you just layer them out onto your dehydrator tray. All I have is the screen, you can see. I don't have the little paper, the little plastic paper thing. It's just the screen because they're just dry enough where those liquids really don't le leak out into your machine. Okay, so I'm gonna continue layering this onto the trays and then we're gonna stick them into our dehydrator on 115 degrees, and we're gonna start out at 12 hours. Uh, and that might depend on your dehydrator if you have one of the smaller round types of dehydrator. Uh, this is an Excalibur, which does really well. 
Um, but according to your own dehydrator, it might take more than 12 hours. You know, you're just going to have to check them. And I'll show you when I bring mine out what, uh, what you're looking for to be done. And you can also do these in the oven. Uh, let's see, I tested it out. Uh, so if you can get your oven down to like 200 degrees, now you're going to have to watch them really carefully, but you can put them on a tray, a baking tray with parchment paper, lay them out just the same way, and start out with probably about two and a half, probably check them at two and a half hours, or you can just check them periodically so that you don't burn them. But they do work in the oven too. All right, so I'm gonna finish layering these out and we'll stick them into the dehydrator. While we're waiting for that, I'd like to share with you some background on our show. The Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show is crowdfunded, which means these free weekly recipe videos, along with our entire catalog of recipes on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com, and our new Plant-Based Cooking Made Easy Cookbook are all made possible in part by the generous patronage of our supporting members. By becoming a supporting member, you gain access to great member perks like monthly product giveaways, free downloads of our eBooks, and access to our in-depth courses, including our 28 Days Plant-Based Made Easy course, where we offer a step-by-step -step guide to making the switch to a fully plant-based diet. We create this show for the hundreds of thousands of viewers just like you who tune in each month from all over the world to make it easy for everyone to live a plant-based lifestyle. So if you love our content, please join us on our mission and become a supporting member today by following the link in the description. Okay, let's get back to the show. Okay guys, so they are out of the dehydrator, super done and crispy. So I just wanted to show you what you're looking for. So this is what they look like. And if you can see how dry that is, it's pretty darn crispy. So now all that we have to do is go to the table for a taste and I'll show you what I like to dip them in. All right, now we get to taste test. So I just put these in my little Pyrex. Um, so to store these, you can put them in a plastic bag or a Tupperware container like this. It has to be an airtight container because if you leave these out, they will reabsorb the humidity from the air and they will just be limp. Just like regular chips, you know, you need to keep them in an airtight container. Uh, they keep for a long time, but these aren't gonna last. You're gonna gobble them up really quick. So here we go. And this is my nacho cheese sauce. So we'll give you a link in the detail, details below for the recipe for that. Mm -hmm. mm. And they are just as good plain. Mm. So full of flavor. And literally, if you're just eating these, that's like zero calories. It's just zucchini. I love it. So be sure to give this a like and I'll see you next week for another great recipe.